여러분 안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. And Python is a dynamically typed language, which means that with Python you can do crazy and silly things like this, where the name variable starts as a string and then it becomes a number and finally ends up as a boolean. That code might not look so crazy to you, but this Python feature that JavaScript shares as well is the root of many runtime errors, which are errors that happen when the software is running on the user's device. Dynamically typed languages like JavaScript or Python are very beginner friendly because they don't force the developer to explicitly tell the program the type of data it holds. Statically typed languages like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, TypeScript and Go among many others don't allow that. In this C Sharp code, when I create a variable, I first have to indicate what type of data that variable will hold. Because of this, if I later try to change the value of name to a number, I will get an error because the language knows that name should be a string. And by trying to change it to a number, I might be making a mistake. And it is a mistake because changing the type of a variable by accident can cause other code that uses that variable to fail. Take this Python code for example. We have a function that takes a, b, and c and returns the result of a plus b plus c. We humans know that we should only call this function with numbers, but Python does not know that. Python does not know what the type of a or b or c should be. And because of this, it will allow anything to go through. So if someone makes a tiny mistake and does something like this, sending the number two inside of a string, Python will still try to run that code, ending on an error telling us that we cannot use the plus sign between an integer and a string. Statically typed languages like the ones we mentioned before would not even allow that code to run. Python, of course, is not as strict and no one wants it to be. But wouldn't it be cool if we could get at least a hint or a warning when we are doing something dumb with types? The good news is that we can. From Python version 3.5, we can add type hints to our code indicating what the types of things are. So next time you create a variable, you can add a type hint to it by using a colon and the Python type. So if we take the code from the beginning and add type hints, we can then use a type checker like MyPy to tell us where the problems are. MyPy is a type checker that you can run in your console after installing it doing pip install MyPy. Or if you are using VS Code and you don't want to constantly have to be running commands, next time you are on a Python file, go to the bottom bar of your VS Code and switch type checking to on. When you do this, VS Code will warn you after it checks your code. Using type hints, we can also fix the function we created before to only accept integers. And we can even specify what is the type the function returns. So if we make a mistake and send the wrong number of arguments or the wrong type, our type checker can let us know. When creating arrays, you can use type hints as well to restrict them to one data type. You can also type dictionaries and using the typing module, you can express more complicated types as well. For example, a function that takes an optional string parameter or a list that can have both numbers and strings or when you don't want a variable to ever be modified. Keep in mind that this is all valid Python code. It won't affect the speed of your program and it's completely optional. Even if your code has type hints and VS Code is warning you of an error, but you still choose to run the code, Python is not going to stop you and you will still get a runtime error. Type hints are just hints, clues for the type checker. Python will run your code with or without them. The hints are for us, the developers as well, to write better code and to get more help from our code editors and better autocomplete. Type hints can be added to your code incrementally. You don't have to do it all at once. They are completely optional and forever will be. As stated on the Python website, Python will remain a dynamically typed language and the authors have no desire 
to ever make type hints mandatory even by convention. Now, even though they are not mandatory, they will still increase the quality of your code. They will allow you to read your code and understand what it's doing faster. They will help you work with big code bases and big teams. And they will give you a better developer experience on the text editor of your choice. To learn more about all the type hints you can use in Python, check out the documentation of the typing module on the official Python documentation website, as well as the MyPy documentation website. And don't forget that if you want to learn to code for free with me, please click the link below to join many of the free courses on Python, JavaScript, React, React Native, Go, and TypeScript, among many others that we have made for you with love for free. Let me know in the comments what do you think about type hints on Python. Are you going to use them? Are you using them already? Write it down on the comments. I'm going to be looking at them right now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Stay free. Love yourself. Eat kimchi. Kamsamida. Saranhamida. Bye bye.